So we've been using RTK John Deere for, I, send, I think believe since 2012, we started using RTK. Um, and RTK for strip till is basically a necessity. Uh, if you, if you want to do it properly and, you know, relieve some stress. Um, for us, you know, straight track is kind of, you know, it, it's the easy part of it, doing your straight rows. But headlands is something that I've really put a lot of effort into the last uh, four or five years. And we really do not drive any headlands anymore. Uh, we've kind of come to the point now where it's all AB curve or straight track. Um, and we're using the same lines year after year. We strip till with those lines. We plant with those lines. Um, and, you know, we, we have some fields that are just very difficult to get a good line. If it's very aggressive curve or, you know, it could be a, a type of field where you're along wet areas. So it moves from every year. But for the most part, I'd say 75% of our headlands, we don't drive anymore. Um, it's, it's an AB curve or a straight track. Um, you know, we, we have still been learning with it. Uh, you know, we strip with a 12 row and we plant with a 24 and 12. So managing certain lines accordingly and making sure you shift properly, as well as uh, AB curves, which we've been doing more of. Um, we're still learning when it comes to the AB curves. Uh, we've been finding, like especially this spring, we ran into some issues when we uh, shifted an AB curve, we were actually doing it the wrong way. We, uh, we found a button called radial shift. And once we realized what that did, it made AB curves much better. We were running into issues where we had to hand drive some stuff. It would, we really didn't know why until this spring we figured it out. Um, so now moving forward, that solved one of our problems. Um, another thing, I guess, when it comes to making these lines and doing that, uh, the best time is to do it is after soybean stubble. Uh, you can usually go through any residue on soybean stubble. Corn stalks, if you try to fix a line and have to go against a row, plugging can be an issue. There's no doubt about that. I know that from firsthand experience. But uh, soybean stubble is definitely, you know, take, take the time if you do fall strips, take the time in the fall, you know, kind of run around the field, making sure you get the line you want. If not, make another one before you actually set the piece in the ground. Um, and I do spend a lot of time in the fall doing that. You know, we move, you know, I'll drive back and forth in a field trying to get the right line. And once I have it, that line's going to stay there for the foreseeable future. So it, it, it's not a one year fix. You know, if you got a lot of different fields, a lot of different lines, labeling the lines correctly, um, that's a big part of it. I mean, we have three different people that run the planners or strip till bar. We all need to be on the same page. Uh, we also strip till in the same direction uh, that we plant. We do not run steerable hitches or any type of uh, secondary guidance. Um, and it has been working very well for us. As long as we're going the same direction, we really don't run into any issues. Uh, maybe a hill or a, a very sharp AB curve could be something, but uh, that's something that we know about. And if there is an issue, we will we'll grab the steering wheel if necessary. You know, it don't have to. We can drive from time to time, um, but just getting the lines managed properly, even the headlands, it just really takes the guesswork. And I mean, for for me, it's one of those little niches where. You know, if I have a field that uh, we have, we have one field, it's a, it's a perfect square 40 and it's four sides of straight track. Um, some people think of that as stupid. And I look at that as like, a, you know, all right, good job. You know, a job well done, you know, um, but that's everyone's management's differently. But I know with good lines makes strip till that much easier. I'm sure for a lot of guys, strip tilling headlands is sometimes not the most fun. I mean, I would put uh, strip tilling straight track as probably one of my favorite things to do on the farm strip tilling headlands is not as much fun as the guy thinks but it goes with the system and if you can make it easier for yourself it just makes it a lot nicer going forward